Hi, Colleen Rutledge here again. Now we're going to talk about the Perio Kit. The Perio Kit consists of three tips. The H3, the H4R, and the H4L. All used on the green or the low power setting. We're now going to demonstrate the H3 tip. The H3 tip is used in the green or the low power setting. It's much like our 3 4 curette. We use the lateral sides. You can notice how quiet and how much less water there is. You want to go from the coronal portion of the deposit and work apically. The last two or three millimeters of the tip is what is the active portion. You can roll the tip when going in approximal. You can see how the lavage just flushes out the debris. Let the tip do the work. Use sweeping motions. We're now going to demonstrate the H4R tip. Notice before we start, you can see the drop by drop irrigation. That makes it so much easier for um, visibility when you're working and you won't be drowning your patients. Uh, they really do appreciate that because with magnetostrictive, they're, they were always used to so much water that um, it's really nice when they have this drop by drop irrigation. And again, it's easier for us to see. Uh, this tip is used for the buckle, as you can see, as well as the distal surfaces. And it's kind of like the opposite of what we learned in school with our curettes. Um, this actually does have two blades, and you can see I'm letting the blade do most of the work working from the coronal portion to the apex, systematically crisscrossing sweeping motions. And because of the long shank and the rounded toe, you have less tissue trauma and also greater access to deeper pockets going down as far as five and six millimeters and you're able to remove tenacious deposits. It does shave off the calculus. Let the tip do the work. We're now going to demonstrate the H4L tip. This tip is for the posterior areas and as you can see we have the blade coming right there on the lingual surfaces you can wrap right around to the distal. Slow, methodical movements. Let the blade or the tip do the work for you. Crisscrossing motions, light grasp, similar to our Gracie curettes. Combination of, I would say, a 11 and 12 and a 13, 14 Gracie curette. You have tactile sensitivity. You can go down four, five, six millimeters. Stubborn subgingival calculus. And remember, you're working with blades on both sides. This concludes our Perio Tip Kit.